Today we're going to learn about something that many of us really don't know about. It's called body burden. You might want to know, what is a body burden? Well, unfortunately, many of the daily chemicals that we're exposed to are now being found in our blood and urine. In fact, the Environmental Working Group states that we, all of us, carry almost 200 of these chemicals in our blood. And it's not easy to get rid of them. We're going to learn today from Laura Turner how she discovered what chemicals she and her family have in their bodies and ways that we can avoid exposures, ways that we can eliminate the risks. So stay with us. This is very important. You don't want to miss it. Well, we were tested for about 80 egregious chemicals, um, known carcinogens, wow. hormone disruptors, chemicals mm. that can uh, cause birth defects and learning delays. And uh, out of the 80 chemicals, we had about half of them, including lead and mercury, um, which is uh, 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 something that's been tested in human's blood for, for quite some time. And then there were phthalates, and perchlorate, which is um, in, in rocket expl explosives in military even, bases. Yeah. It's in the water supply. It's in a lot of dairy. Um, it's moved up the food chain. Um, uh, the degreasing and anti-stain stain, uh, chemicals uh, like Teflon. That if you overheat a Teflon pan, it, if you have a bird in your kitchen, it can actually kill kill the bird. Um, and it, it was just this myriad of, of chemicals, uh, flame retardants, um, artificial musk that I had very high levels of because it's, it's things that you're exposed to in your, in your makeup, in your fragrances. It's everywhere. It's ubiquitous. It's so sad when you think about most young people today, and you're, you're the mother of three kids, and you know everything's processed, and nobody understands where it comes from and how it got to the table, and you know obviously the push towards organics, which you've been very involved in, and, and obviously the residues of pesticides. I mean, do you really think it's possible? Are we going to be able to become a culture of people that can get rid of chemicals in our food supply? What do you think? Well, you know, you would ask me if I had kind of an aha moment yeah. about chemicals specifically. And, um, you know, we built this LEED certified house. Oh, we're talking about that too, yeah. And initially it was about what you could do to help save the planet and um, how to reduce your carbon footprint. And as we got deeper into it, I realized that this was about health and health of your loved ones, especially your children whose bodies are growing, their cells are reproducing, and they're so much more susceptible to the com uh, toxic chemical right. cocktail that we immerse them in every day, day in and day out. And so the more I learned about um, the health aspects of a green home, it's not only better for the planet, it's better for your family. And in, and green, in cleaning products, they don't have to um, list the active ingredients. I was going to ask you, what is the word inert and the concept of inert ingredients? That is a technical term that I've heard that in a, to a certain degree protects industry where they don't have to give us our right to know? How, shouldn't we be able to change that as consumers? Um, well, we need, the, we need a law yeah. that either bans egregious chemicals like they've done in Europe. You know, right, it's a no-brainer. Or absolutely. we have to put the burden back on the manufacturers of these chemicals that put them in our everyday products that we as mothers right. readily buy and consume with our families, you know, put the burden back on the manufacturers to prove whether these chemicals are safe for, for children. This is such a conundrum because you mentioned the fact, and we know for a fact, that children are much more vulnerable, they're smaller, they're terrestrial, they're on the floor, they're consuming more pound for pound, more water, all those things. So you've just hit on something that I believe is correct too. What if we adjusted the laws so that it was reflective of the youngest and the most vulnerable part of our population? And what if we took the Safer Chemical Act, let's take all of the regulatory laws and reverse them from a 155 pound male to a 30 pound individual? Wouldn't that at least be a start? 
Well, I think not only as far as uh, health and toxic chemicals go of our children, but I think we should really relook at, you know, a lot of our laws um, that just consider short term and un understand how our kids and their children are going to be affected, just like the Native Americans did. You know, right. they before they made a decision, they would look at how the seventh generation would be affected. And I think we've forgotten about that. Well, we travel. We came out here to see you. I love it. I and love uh, it. playing, yeah. you know, spending time yeah. in this beautiful, uh, on the beautiful California coast yeah, and inspired you're... by the nature all around us in your home and your beautiful oh, uh, you, environmental Laura. home. I, I saw Leonardo DiCaprio give the, the tour. Oh, on, right. right. You know, I on watched, the, show, I watched on, that, on, that other on that other show, show. which was fabulous, right. and I was blown yeah. away, and I just yeah. keep pinching myself yeah. that I'm actually here, and the air quality is so magnificent and the the spirituality of what oh, you put here you, you know do. so zen you know i haven't been to eco manor but i know i'm going to get invited but you know i'm going to say it on camera i have an idea for us and it's called home green home and what we're going to do is we'll be here under the h which stands for health in hollywood and you'll be there at eco manor and we'll entertain our guests and we'll talk to them about the environment and we'll get them into the Luxico Living Club and before long, you and I will have converted the nation. That's good. Let's do yeah, it. Yeah, let's do it. That's, that's <laughs> I, I think we can do it. Anyway, we, we, are, we are so excited and I just, I can't thank you enough for this. It is, it is truly monumental to have you be the first guest of Luxico Living Television and we're thrilled to be able to break out and reach the world and soon enough, girl, <laughs> home green home, you'll be going to Atlanta. And we'll see you next time. Thank you. Thank you.